here we are at the first point in our trail. Yes, this is Trybridge House, and it's a very good place to begin, isn't it? Indeed it is. And we know a bit about the house. Round the corner there's a date stone telling it was built in 1671, and it was built by a man named William Roberts. Right. Now, he was serving as receiver and paymaster of the King's Works at Windsor Castle at the time. Yes, and it was actually a rebuilding. A farmhouse probably built in the 16th century previously stood on this site. And then it was enlarged by a descendant, Charles Henry Crompton Roberts, in 1867. Of course, the great thing about Drybridge House is you can actually get inside. I mean, there is a very good cafe, or you can just enjoy these wonderful Victorian interiors. They are impressive, aren't they? And thinking about it, I mean, there's been some pretty impressive people who've come to visit, haven't they? Well, yes, oddly enough, Edward Elgar, the composer, came here quite mm -hmm. often. The Roberts family had a cousin in Worcestershire, Alice Roberts, who was a very gifted musician and poet. And Edward Elgar taught her piano and married her, much to the disagreement of her family, who didn't want her marrying this penniless musician. <laughs> <laughs> of course, she did quite well out of it in the yeah, end. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. And apparently when he was here, he did quite a lot of work on music in the community, which is not something you think of. I mean, you think of Elgar as pomp and circumstance. You yeah. don't think of um, work with the community, do you? No, it's, it's a different image, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you something else interesting about this place is that there was once a very well thought of cricket pitch yeah. here and some interesting people have played on it, including W.G. Grace himself. Oh my goodness. I, the gardens are still lovely, aren't they? I, I, I suppose the cricket pitch is long gone. Yeah, you're right on both counts. Uh, the gardens are lovely. Uh, the cricket pitch has gone. Yeah. Still, it's an image to conjure with, isn't it? W.G. of the Crease. Oh, yes. 